Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Target 100 in Mathematics by Shivesh Kumar Singh and today I am going to explain you the topic which is really very important and it is not restricted to only one or two grades. It is required almost in every field of mathematics where you are dealing with the numbers or algebraic expressions. Okay? Yes, I am talking about greatest common factor and least common multiple. Okay? Let's discuss all these things in detail. The first thing is factors and multiples. So first we'll talk about the factor. Okay? Factor means if a number A which is not equal to 0 divides another number B then A is called factor of B. Here you need to understand one thing that if B is divided by A it means B will be greater than or equal to A. Okay? Because we are talking about the complete division. Okay, not in the decimals. So, B will be greater than or equal to A. So, what result you can conclude from here? That factor of any number will be smaller than or equal to the number. Okay, always. Factor cannot be bigger than the number. So, this is the first thing what you will understand from here. That factor of any number will be smaller than or equal to the number. For example, 6 is divided by 3. Okay? Because if you divide 6 by 3, then what answer, what quotient you get? You get 2. Okay? So, here division means that remainder should be completely 0. Okay? So, 6 is divided by 3. So, 3 is a factor of 6. So, what you can see here? 3 is smaller than or equal to 6. This is right. Because factor is smaller than, smaller than the number. Okay? Now, there is a very minute difference between factors and multiples. So, if I say A is a factor of B, it means B will be factor of, sorry, B will be the multiple of A. So, what, we, what result we see from here? That multiple of the number will be bigger than or equal to the number. Okay? Whereas, what we have seen in the factor, factor was smaller than or equal to the number, but multiple will be bigger than or equal to the number. Okay? For example, just its opposite statement. Okay? I said 3 is a factor of 6. So, if we want to say for the multiple, then what we will say? 6 is a multiple of 3. So, you can see here, 6 is bigger than or equal to 3. Okay? So, this thing you will understand that what is the meaning of factor and what is the meaning of a multiple. Okay? If I say 10 is a multiple of 20, then this is wrong. Why? Because 10 is not bigger than 20. Okay? So, always remember one thing that multiple should be bigger and factor should be smaller or equal and multiple should be bigger or equal. Okay? Now, next thing, uh, some important facts about the factors. First is, 1 is the factor of all numbers. Okay? Why? Because it's very easy to understand because every number will be divided by 1. So, we can divide all the numbers by 1. So, therefore, 1 will be the factor of every number. Okay? And the second important fact is, every number, non-zero of course, is a factor of itself. Itself means, if you divide any number, for example, I am taking here 17, if you divide 17 by 17, then it will be always divisible and you will get the answer 1. Okay? So, that's what it is written that every non-zero number is the factor of itself. Now, here I have written one example for you. For example, 5 is a factor of 5. Okay? So, these are the two things which will help you in some simple, simple questions or multiple choice questions especially. Okay? Now, what about factors? Let's have one question so that we can have a some idea of the factor. Question is find all factors of 12 means you have to write all those numbers which can divide 12. Okay? Find all factors of 12 means all numbers which can divide 12. Okay? So, so many things are there. I am just, because I am starting it from 0 level, so I am explaining from 0 level, okay? 
if you are very good in calculation then you can do it orally okay or it will take just fraction of seconds only for you to solve it but i am taking it from zero level so let's make a factor tree for this now you see if you want to factor 12 into two parts so it is up to you whatever factors you are writing okay i i for example here i have written 2 and 6 for example here you can write 4 and 3 because 4 multiply 3 is also 12 2 multiply 6 is also 12 now 2 you cannot break into two parts again but 6 you can break okay so what you can do for 6 you can do for 2 and 3 2 multiply 3 and if you are doing from here for 4 you will write 2 multiply 2 and 3 you cannot break it further so what are the factors of 12 you will write all the last numbers or from here also all the last numbers including 1 and the number itself so all the factors of 12 are see i told you 1 and the number itself is compulsory for every number in between you will write all other numbers <coughs> you will write all other numbers for example 2 is one of the factor because 2 is dividing 12 here you can see 4 is one of the factors because 4 is also dividing 12 3 is one of the factors because 3 is also dividing 12 6 is one of the factor because 6 is also dividing the 12 okay so all these are the possible factors of 12 okay like this you can find factors of any number okay now let's come to the main point greatest common factor or gcf what is basically greatest common factor before starting the question try to understand what does it mean okay so it means greatest common factor is a the largest number which can divide the given numbers it is the largest number which can divide the given numbers so what you will understand here you will understand that greatest common factor of any number will be less than or equal to the given numbers okay it cannot be bigger than the given numbers okay now we'll talk about greatest common factor in detail but make sure that you will double check your answer that whether it divides all the numbers or no okay just uh, only just to mention here why we are using the word largest try to understand this for example suppose we want to find greatest common factor of 12 and 18 okay so you can see 2 will divide 12 because 2 multiply 6 is 12 and 2 will multiply 18 also 2 multiply 9 is 18 now 3 will also divide 12 and 18 both because 3 multiply 4 is 12 and 3 multiply 6 is 18 okay 4 will divide 12 but 4 will not divide 18 so leave we will not write 4 now 5 6 6 will divide 12 and 6 will divide 18 also okay now these are the three common factors of 12 and 18 now which one is the greatest one 6 yes 6 is the greatest common factor 6 is the greatest factor so that's what this is the name greatest common factor okay so whatever factors whatever common factors are possible you see here common factors are 3 2 3 and 6 these are the common factors but only this number is the gcf greatest common factor okay so this was the important thing for you to understand now let's come to one example for example here i have written 5 is gcf of 10 and 25 why because 5 is the largest number which can divide 10 and 25 you can write here and what the method we are following here see for gcf there are so many methods to find gcf but what i am explaining you here is by the factor tree so that you can practice about the factors also so for 10 you can write 2 multiply 5 and for 25 you can write 5 multiply 5 okay so you can see here i have written in the linear way also like this okay if you are good in calculation if you have done a lot of practice then you can write it directly without making the factor tree no need to make this it is not a compulsory thing in the exam also you can directly write this line okay 
10 is equal to 2 multiply 5 and 25 is equal to 5 multiply 25. Now what you have to do here, you have to see what all numbers are common in both the lines, okay, means up and down. So you see 2 is written here, but 2 is not written down. So 2 will not be the part of GCF. You can see 5 is written up and 5 is written down also. So 5 is same. So it means 1 time 5 is same. So we'll write 5 there as the GCF. So you see 5 is common. So 5 will be GCF. And just to double check your answer, you divide it. If you divide 10 by 5, your answer will be 2. If you divide 25 by 5, your answer will be 5. Okay. So in both the cases, you can see it is divisible. It means this answer is correct. Okay. Now, moving further, for example, suppose we want to find greatest common factor of 20 and 30. So what you can do here, the same procedure for 20, you can write 2 multiply 10 and then 2 multiply 5. And then for 30, you can write 2 multiply 15 and for 15, you can write 3 multiply 5. Okay. Again, I'm telling you, if you are in a good in calculation, then you can directly write this line. 20 is equal to 2 multiply 2 multiply 5. But my dear students, make sure that you are not writing like this. 20 is equal to 4 multiply 5. Why? Because 5 is okay. It is a prime number. But 4 is not a prime number. So to find the correct HCF and LCM, it is very important to write in the prime factors. Prime factors means the numbers which cannot be factorized further. You cannot make it smaller. Okay. So make sure that you remember this thing that always you will write factors in terms of prime factors. Okay. Same for 30. 30 you can write 2 multiply 3 meaning 6. 6 multiply 5 means 30. Okay. Now you see what all numbers are common up and down. First you see 2 is common. Okay, so down will be 1, 2 and 5 is also common. So down will be 5. So whatever common number you have, it will come down like this. Okay, and then multiply. So it will be 2 multiply 5 means 10. Okay, so this is HCF. Now let's find HCF of three numbers. Okay, now you can explain, uh, you can write in the terms of factor 3 also, but I'm writing now directly. Hope you are doing the calculations yourself if you have any problem. For 28, you can write 2 multiply 2 means 4 and 4 multiply 7 is 28. Okay. For 30, you can write, for 30, you can write 2 multiply 3 means 6 and 6 multiply 5 means 30. And for 76, what you can write? You can write 2 multiply 2 means 4 and 4 multiply by 19 is 76. Okay. Now, how you find HCF? What I told you for HCF, you need to take the common number. Now here, since we have three numbers, so it should be common in all the three lines. Okay. So we have only one common number here because 2 is here, 2 is here, but 2 is not here. 7 is here only, not here. 5 is here only, not in any other place. Okay. So these numbers will not be taken common. So 2 is the HCF of 28, 30 and 76. Okay. Now here you will remember one more thing that after factorization, if you don't find anything common, then HCF will be 1. Okay. For example, we have to find HCF of 15 and say, for example, I'm taking here 17. Okay. Now you see 15, you can easily write 3 multiply 5 and 17, you can write 17 is a prime number. So you cannot break it further. So it can be written as 1 multiply 17. Okay. Now you can see up and down nothing is common no number is common so only one will be the hcf okay because i told you one is the factor of all the numbers so one will be hcf 
okay hope you understand this example and you will practice more questions with gcf okay you can take your own number in big number three digit number two digit number it depend on your grade okay so practice it and hopefully it will be more clear to you okay now let's talk about lcm means least or lowest common multiple now if you remember i told you multiple means you will get the bigger answer means multiple will be bigger than the given number or it will be equal to the given number okay so what is the least common multiple it is the smallest number which can be divided by the given numbers if you remember there in hcf i told you which can be divisible by which can divide the number but here it is written which can be divided by the numbers so it means it must be bigger than the number okay so here what result you are getting lcm must be bigger than or bigger than or equal to the given numbers okay now let's talk about this in detail okay now i am telling you many methods to find the gc uh, lcm and it depends on your grade that whatever your grade is you can follow that method okay first i am telling you for the very younger kids where they deal with the one digit number only okay for example you have to find lcm of 6 and 8 okay very small number i have taken so what they will do you can write the multiplication table of 6 and 8 both so 6 multiply 1 6 8 multiply 1 8 6 multiply 2 12 6 mul 8 multiply 2 16 6 multiply 3 18 6 8 multiply 3 24 then 6 multiply 4 24 and you can see here the first number what we are getting the same number is 24 so in the multiplication table whatever first number you will get the same that will be the answer okay that will be the lcm okay try to understand again with another example suppose we want to find lcm of say for example 8 and 24 okay now you see 24 is a very big number than 8 so first you complete some multiplication table of 8 so that you can reach to bigger number to 24 so 8 multiply 1 is 8 8 multiply 2 is 16 8 multiply 3 is 24 now you see we got the same number here 24 so it means lcm of 8 and 24 is 24 okay now you can see this is the method for younger kids okay where they deal with only one number one digit number or maximum means some simple numbers okay where they can easily write the multiplication table but for the students of grade 6 7 8 they must understand the another method also for example we want to find lcm of say 18 and 50 okay for example 18 and 50 now two methods i will tell you for this also one method is same like hcf okay there you write the factor tree so 18 means 2 multiply 3 multiply 3 18 and 50 means 2 multiply 5 multiply 5 now what we did in hcf we took the common number in up and down we took the common number but what we are going to do here we will write the maximum occurrence or maximum repetition maximum repetition of a number in any one line okay for example i will explain this thing in detail for example 2 here is written only for one time on this line 2 here also is written only for one time so maximum occurrence of maximum repetition of this two is one time only now here you see three is written on this line two times but three is not written down okay so it's okay three is written maximum for how many times two times so three multiply three and same reason five is also written for two times so five multiply five so just multiply them you will get the answer two multiply three six six multiply three 18 
एटीन मल्टीप्लाई फाइव नाइन्टी एंड नाइन्टी मल्टीप्लाई बाई फाइव यानी फोर हंड्रेड फिफ्टी विल बी द आंसर ओके नाउ दिस इज वन मेथड बाई यूजिंग द प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन नाउ एनदर इज मोर और लेस इट इज सिमिलर बट आई एम श्योर यू विल फाइंड इट लिटिल कन्विंसिंग फॉर यू ओके नाउ लेट्स फाइंड द एच एल सी एम ऑफ द सेम नंबर विथ डिफरेंट मैथड सो वी आर फाइंडिंग विथ एटीन एंड फिफ्टी ओके सो वॉट यू विल डू हेयर यू विल मेक अ डिविजन टेबल लाइक दिस नाउ वी विल सी बाई वॉट नंबर वी कैन डिवाइड दैम सो लाइक यू कैन सी टू कैन डिवाइड एटीन ओके सो टू टाइम्स नाइन एटीन टू टाइम्स ट्वेंटी फाइव इज फिफ्टी नाउ टू कैन नॉट डिवाइड एनी नंबर नाउ यू कैन सी थ्री कैन डिवाइड नाइन सो डिवाइड दिस नाइन बाई थ्री सो थ्री मल्टीप्लाई थ्री इज नाइन एंड थ्री कैन नॉट डिवाइड ट्वेंटी फाइव सो राइट दिस ट्वेंटी फाइव एज इट इज ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट थ्री कैन अगेन डिवाइड थ्री सो इट विल बी वन थ्री कैन नॉट डिवाइड ट्वेंटी फाइव सो ट्वेंटी फाइव विल कम डाउन एज इट इज टिल वॉट टाइम वी विल कंटिन्यू दिस प्रोसीजर टिल वी गेट ऑल नंबर वन ओके नाउ वन विल बी सेम टू सेम हेयर 25 can be divided by 5 so 5 times 5 25 again this 5 can be divided by 5 so it will be 1 okay so we got this one all the entries are one now so lcm will be multiplication of all these numbers means 2 multiply 3 6 6 multiply 3 18 18 multiply 5 90 and 90 multiply by 5 450 okay so you see how easily we can find the lcm and hcf of the numbers it is not only with the two numbers it is applicable for the three three numbers also for example you need to find the lcm of say let's say this time 24 and 36 and one more number i'll take say 40 okay now same procedure you follow maybe you can use the factor tree or maybe you can use the table table i'll not suggest for the students of grade 6 7 8 because it takes time okay it will waste your time in exam so better you follow this method or by factor tree method so you can see 24 will be divisible by 2 so 2 24 divided by 2 will be 12 36 divide, divided by 2 will be 18 40 divided by 2 will be 20 okay again we can divide some numbers by 2 so 12 divided by 2 is 6 18 divided by 2 is 9 20 divided by 2 is 10 again we can divide by 2 so 6 divided by 2 3 9 cannot divided by 2 so leave 9 here 10 divided by 2 is 5 now you can see we can divide some numbers by 3 also so 3 divided by 3 1 9 divided by 3 3 5 cannot divided by 3 so leave 5 as it is again you can see some numbers can be divided by 3 so this is 1 as it is 3 divided by 3 1 5 divided by 3 not possible so 5 as it is now you can see the last number will be divisible by 5 so multiply these three numbers so it will be 2 multiply 2 means 4 4 multiply 2 8 8 multiply 3 24 24 multiply 3 72 and 72 multiply 5 means 5 twos are 10 and 5 sevens are 35 and 1 36 okay hope i have done this multiplication correctly check the answer once again yourself and my dear students please consider some questions yourself okay don't depend on the book or any worksheet or any assignment just think of the numbers yourself and find the hcf and lcm yourself okay now here i will tell you very interesting relation between the numbers and their hcf and lcm you know what's the relation if numbers are maybe it will not be in your exam but in some various competitive examinations like mathematics olympiad international mathematics olympiad or anywhere it can be asked so if numbers are a and b then hcf of a and b lcm of a and b their multiplication will be equal to multiplication of the numbers okay just i will verify this with the simple example for example suppose we are taking a and b as 6 and 
9. Okay, I'm taking the small number so that we can verify it. So you have seen that its HCF was 3 and its LCM will be 18. You can find by the proper method what I have told you. I'm just checking this formula. Okay, so HCF is 3, LCM is 18 and numbers are 6 and 9. So 18 times 3, 54, 6 times 9, also 54. Okay, so you can see this important relation will help you in various classes, in various competitive examinations also. Okay, hope my dear students, this video was very helpful for you. And if you learned something and if you like this video, then please share my channel and subscribe my channel. Tell to your friends also. Thank you.